Welcome to Alcohol Free After 50, where I help you break the cycle of addiction and move to a life of contribution. That is my goal for you. My name is Terry Greer. I'm your host. So let's get into it. I wanted to communicate with you today that there is no reason for you to hit rock bottom. There's no reason. No reason with your alcohol consumption. Like what I'm trying what I'm trying to let you know is it never it never seems quite bad enough, but you know there's kind of a problem there. And it certainly is easier to get along uh, than than because you've got to do the work, right? You've got to you gotta do some effort to, to make a change. And I know how hard that is. And sometimes you feel hopeless. And I and I get that as well. I and I just I just want you to reach down deep especially you know when I talk to people that are over 50 it's like there's a different chapter in life happening now right I, I believe 50 is the new 40 in a lot of ways uh, so cliche to say but you have uh, an opportunity now right maybe, maybe before the previous 20 30 years wasn't quite exactly how you thought it was gonna be and now you have an opportunity to make a pivot make that pivot and, and, and change your life into a life of contribution and giving back and to making a difference in the, in the, with the people around you. And I think that, I don't think, I know, I know that addictions, especially alcohol, which is just so everywhere in our society, is not talked about and it also holds you back from achieving what you want in those areas. You know, alcohol is about... Uh, uh, you know, it's an oppressant and it makes you withdraw. It, it numbs and it helps when you have the pain in your life, but but it, it doesn't it doesn't allow you to to be in, in connection and community with others. You think it does because you're out partying and having a good time, but at the end of the day, there's a backlash. There's an illusion there that that really you you become more isolated, and um, and I want to help you move beyond that move beyond that and then start learning how to become uh to contribute to your society and the people around you and all of that your family your friends it doesn't you know contribution doesn't have to be just non-profit minded so what do i mean by hitting rock bottom well in, in my case i drank since i was a kid i grew up in louisiana it was very easy to access alcohol and if you could handle alcohol meaning that if you could drink it you fit in and Alcohol is is an addictive substance. There's just no, you know, whether you're an addic- you're addicted or not, or all those conversations are irrelevant. But the substance itself is addictive. That's that's scientifically proven. So you're playing with something that you know is potentially addictive, and that ad- that that access to alcohol goes turns into a habit, and just kind of like culturally, what you do. Next thing you know, you build up a tolerance. Tolerance means you require more, and now you're in a feedback loop of like, you know, I'm not really liking what's going on here and so and then you realize that getting out of this trap is going to be a little harder than you thought right you try to make some changes and you're like god man it's kind of like losing weight it's not as easy as as everyone makes it out to be you have to be mindful and do the work and that's where I come in to try to help you so I'm working on this free guide okay I've got a link down below I'm almost done with it today today is May 5th I'm in downtown Austin enjoying the day. I had a little luncheon to go to and I thought I thought I would shoot this video to see if I can pull it off even with all the noise because I want to let you know that hitting rock bottom, wait, waiting, like, let me sum it up this way. Most people change when some external thing comes to them and hits them in the face. Uh, you know, when your wife shows up and says she wants a divorce, you know, you it, that's called a wake-up call, right? And if you've got a feeling around this, let's not wait for the wake-up call to happen. Let's not wait for something really bad to happen to you. Let's, let's start addressing it. Let's start talking about it. Let's start getting what, what the popular term these days is. Let's get curious about it. That's people like um, Ruby Warrington, Warrington brought this into the, to the, to the, out into the open you know, in 2018. And it, it's true. It's like culture wants us to, to be you can drink then you're good if you can't drink then you have the problem right somehow somehow by choosing not to drink and to do something that is healing 
means that we have the problem because we can't handle it. Well, I'm, I'm here to tell you, you know, I'm five years without having a drink. Uh, I don't consider myself an alcoholic, never have, never went to an AA meeting. Uh, I did the work and, and I've been mindful and I've, been, I've, been, I, I, I've earned every, every step of the way through the help of tremendous people around me. But uh, I'm letting you know, you don't have to accept that label. You don't have to experience all that judgment. Just start getting curious about what's going on. Give me your email down below. It's just me and you. Uh, if you want to talk to me, shoot me an email after you get on the list. Let's set up a time. Happy to chit chat about your, your situation and see how I can help you. My name's Terry. I am part of the starting a movement, if you will, with, with alcohol-free living after 50, and I want to be your first sober friend. Thank you so much.